the thought of somebody hurting your mother, it's, it's extremely painful. Tonight, emotions run high as a woman and her daughter speak only to Como News about a vicious hammer attack as this new video of the suspect at the Beacon Hill Light Rail Station is finally released. Police hope the video will help them catch the man they say is responsible for two attacks last week. Como's Ryan Sims was the only re local reported to talk to that woman. Ryan, how is she doing? Mary, her injuries are non-life-threatening, but it has still been a very, very tough time. That's because this woman, the victim, recently recovered from brain surgery because of a brain tumor. And now comes this attack where she was hit in the head with a hammer. He hit me very, very bad. And I focus on the, the pain and how he hit me in my head. Elvia Salas Buenrostro says her attack happened without warning. So sudden and so scary. I was on only him and me and myself. And, and uh, when everything that happened, I, I was feel extremely scared, painful. In the moments before the assault, security video captured the suspect moving through the Beacon Hill station. As you see, he didn't seem to mind the attention he brought upon himself as he waved around and brandished a large hammer before setting his sights on Elvia. I said, I want to call the police, and I scream, and I said, uh, very hard, police! Elvia sustained blows to the head and her body. It is then that a man in a wheelchair intervened. Yet that good Samaritan was also soon hit. Had he not intervened, I, I strongly feel that my mom's um, injuries would have been much worse, um, if not life-threatening. As police circulate this suspect's picture, asking for any information on his whereabouts, emotions, and anger, run deep the thought of somebody hurting your mother it's extremely painful for that a call to action this is a good example of why we need a lot more mental health support um, in our communities the man we should mention who tried to help elvia also suffered from head wound he is expected to make a full recovery all for this all as the suspect is still out there anyone with information on his whereabouts has to call 911 immediately come to you live from seattle tonight ryan simpson come on news